I can explain. <laughs> hey guys, Clumsy here. Welcome back to Clumsy Trucking. Everything looking good there so far? Yes, I think so. I don't know if you can hear, see me well. We're just a tad late, just 17 minutes late. <laughs> Hashtag blame Alex. Oh my goodness. Sorry for the delay, guys. <clears throat> Thank you for joining. We'll have to skip the introductions. Welcome everybody. <laughs> I'll catch up with chat eventually. But thank you for joining me. Let me explain this backstory. Right. A few moments later. <laughs> yes, that's the perfect one. That is the perfect one. Um, we can all blame Alex because of his beautiful screenshot in Discord. If you're not yet there, exclamation point Discord gets you that link. Because I was happy enough driving the DAF95 by XBS today. I was planning to start our long haul. And uh, a few hours before, I was like looking at the active threads in the SES forums. And I was like, hmm, MP3 by Dotec looks nice. And then I also got recommendations in YouTube uh, telling me to drive that. So I was like, okay, but MP3 is kind of meh for me. Um, the interior isn't really nice. It's very, it's quite low quality. The the default interior that is. Um, but then again, Dotec, it's Dotec, and he's very reputable for creating nice modded trucks, nice truck mods. So, uh, but yeah, I was happy with the DAF 95. And then Alex posted the screenshot and I was like, okay, that's it. <laughs> I have to switch trucks. I have to set it up because this just looks so good. And that's why we have the delay. So we can all blame Alex for that. <laughs> Never been on this. Maybe that was a different Alex. <laughs> hey, Max, glad you made it, man. Oh my goodness. I haven't been able to check out Max's version on this even. I'm just using the default sounds at the moment. Maybe I should switch, huh? Well, well, we can hear it first. I think the default sounds are from Krishbom. You guys said, you know, if I got it wrong, okay. That should work like so. Turn that off. There we go. And hopefully I can keep up with the happenings. <laughs> so, but yeah, it will be worth it, guys. It will be worth it. 20 minute delay now. All right, and, and counting. All right, let's see. Let me know when the lighting goes weird, okay? Because as the day, as the sun comes up, my background gets brighter, so the lights get less effective and I get pretty OCD with that. So let me know if my face gets dark. So I did buy some new lights just to alleviate that, but I think I'll need to constantly tweak the settings. Uh -huh. Let's hide my... And as I say that, I hide the webcam. Clumpy is now in session. <laughs> if you guys missed the Clumpy reference, oh, we'll have to fill you in. But welcome everybody. Thank you for joining. <clears throat> Stalling and setting up his... Which one? <laughs> like two hours ago. Well, I only saw it now. So we do have the Iberia DLC AI fix. Have you guys tested that on your own? Not sure where to put it, but I'm going to place it above pro mods oh my goodness so many red errors again i did download the updated real company logo which now includes iberia dlc iberia companies uh, and yes the iberia dlc ai fix i think we'll, we'll discuss this more later what this really means but i think this only fixes the iberia ai behavior the ai behavior in iberia areas not in other areas Correct me there if I'm wrong, but uh, look at all the red spots here, guys. This is only the beginning. <laughs> Later, I'll show you the the errors again in the console. And then, of course, we have the, the star of the show today, Dotex MP3, which I was blown away. I think this deserves a separate mod spotlight video. 
but we'll go through it I'll just skim through the different uh, setups later but just take note if you're downloading the mp3 make sure to also download the add-ons there's a DLC accessories and an actress tuning pack add-on that you don't have to download separately okay and they're all in the steam workshop and of course they're also in the mods list right exclamation point mods uh, what else do we have speed limit for phone GPS True mirror FOV and all the other details are in the mods list. So if you have questions, check it out and then let us know. Okay, good. Doing good, Hasib. Sorry guys, I wasn't able to go through the names one by one. Uh, but uh, if you're still in chat, just speak out and uh, I'll say hi. As much as I can, at least. <laughs> Alright, let's start it up. <clears throat> hey, LL. Glad you could join. Haven't been here in 2021. Ah, welcome back. Rolo, is, is that you? Is that the Rolo Rolo from before? Because you have a different name now, I think. <laughs> I miss the USB sounds. Yeah, exactly. Drooling over the Mercedes-Benz truck. That was a beautiful screenshot. Thanks, Alex. Hopefully the game won't crash. Yeah, I know, right? Hopefully the PC won't crash. If you guys were here two days ago when we were doing the flight sim stream, my PC actually got a blue screen of death, a BSOD. And I think it has something to do with that Windows update. I have uninstalled it since, so thanks very much for helping me with that, guys. And of course, we have a content change. <laughs> oh my goodness, that must be because of the prefab. <laughs> Okay, now at least I can have more time to catch up and chat. Okay, so how are you guys doing? Hey, Bao Bao. Yes, glad you could make it. Yeah, sorry about that. Especially now, right? With the DST shift, it's even later for you guys. Yikes. Thanks for making it. <clears throat> yeah, Max has his own version of the MP2 and MP3 sounds, I think. So we could check that out uh, later on, but right now what I have is the default. I think by default it comes with Krishbom sounds. What I like about Max's sounds, and not only because he's here, is it's very customized. Like each and every, like uh, in even interior sounds have their own truck specific ones. So you really get a custom fit for each truck. <laughs> Watch this game crash, hopefully not, hopefully not. Thanks, Alex. <laughs> You've been watching Twitch for over 12 hours. Goodness. Yeah, a little bit of a teaser, Max. That would be great. You can. It's only us here after all. Watching Twitch all day, literally. Goodness, that's hardcore. Almost 4 in the morning. Maybe you should sleep at 7 so you can <laughs> go early. Oh my goodness, that's intense. Oh, that's so late there. Thanks for joining though. You can download it and try it before we actually start. <laughs> you should have enough time. No, there you go. We're almost there. There we go. Don't reset, please. Okay, it hasn't reset. There we go. Where's my truck? Why is this a plane? Okay, there it is. Thank you for subbing. Hey, Nico. Welcome back, man. Glad to have you back here. Eight months. Thanks for subbing, resubbing. There's the truck. There it is. Like a black edition, but the MP3. Finally. <laughs> Finally, we have it. Um, there are multiple variants here, I think. 12 speed and 16 speed. I think I'm using the 12 speed ones. Acro sound. Ah, not compatible with this M with the MP3. Nice. Well, looking forward to that, Max. That would be great. Yeah, looking forward to that one. All right, so let me show you what it has because I was blown away with the number of... Like I said, I wasn't really enthusiastic about the MP3, so I was willing to skip it despite the suggestions in YouTube and the, the uh, potential based on what I've been seeing. But yeah, re really what put me over the edge was the uh, was Alex's screenshot. 
Take a look at Discord, guys. It's beautiful. Super sleek. Now, there are multiple variants as expected. Low roof, high roof, mega space, and a black and white liner even. It's pretty sleek, actually. And even, I think, the interior changes based on that. So this is like the default interior, right? That one is pretty familiar to us. But this one has a more sleek more premium look it's beautiful that's why i couldn't resist having the black liner in here that does mean you have a very limited set of paint jobs though so you only have two because it is a black liner after all so i guess it should be black <laughs> v8 oh good and then you have options here for v6 or v8 i think even the undercarriage is that what you call it changes based on that so it seems like it is super accurate and then you have three three options when it's a v8 you have a couple of different transmission options I'm just going to skim through guys okay i won't show you the entire thing i'll uh, save it for a mod spotlight but look at the number of dots here look at all those dots l roof is that the small one what I couldn't find was a way to make the spoiler higher because my trailer is actually a bit higher. Alex, have you found a way to raise that? Because I think you are using the same trailer, right? I basically copied your, <laughs> your version and changed a few things from what I can remember. But yeah, that has an AC. I think I'll need that here in my room. <laughs> if that can transfer over in real life, that would be great. But what's cool about this is so many different options, spoilers, you know, uh, sun visors. Uh, oh, I think I missed this one. You can actually make this paint. I missed that. Okay, let's see. Clear the order. All right, so we reset, and then we make that paint or paint V2. Fine, why not? Yeah, let me click through. The different things so you can see what else even the bull bars the uh they call this the roof bars the light bars they have their own standard and painted versions and i really like it when they have their painted versions less obtrusive it blends more with the truck because normally i don't like bull bars for but for these painted variants it's very nice led versions of the logo paint in chrome and stuff even different lights there's like a xenon variant it looks a bit strange to me i'm not i'm not used to that kind of look so i'm not using that yeah so many different types here yeah we'll go through those in more detail but so many dots so many options and uh, pretty cool stuff even that huge exhaust there <clears throat> mercedes v8 sounds good man didn't use the black version different cabs and chassis have a huge effect on the options available ah so if i go with mega space and pick for example this one maybe there is an additional option hmm not this one specifically <clears throat> yeah i'm not sure but they, you guys let me know if you find something okay maybe that one has still lower maybe it's just really low yeah so nice but okay let's that's uh i think that's enough of a sneak peek let's get driving and let maybe just look inside for a bit only one steering wheel option but i guess that also changes i think that changes together with the the different stuff the different uh, uh, chassis cabin options there you go even change the wood type here <clears throat> quite nice i'm sure missed some dots here you even have some led lights the air conditioning here even this one you can change super cool 
And yeah, I think overall the interior is different as well because it looks much more crisp than the one I am expecting from the default SCS version. So I think it's pretty high quality compared to the original. All right. How's the sounds, guys? Hey, drive safely. I don't like it. <laughs> Can we go back to the DAF 95? Okay, just give me another 20 minutes. <laughs> How about inside? Not too shabby. Is there a real dashboard? Is this com I don't I doubt it's compatible. Um hmm, might be worth a try later though. Might be worth a try. Anyway, we'll see. <clears throat> Dotic mods are so deeded. Oh, and it's that's that that clicking thing. I almost forgot about it. Oh, that's pretty iconic. Awesome. All right. So let's take a job here. You guys want a long haul? I did say that in the title, didn't I? Uh huh. Albania. Or Finland. Pick one, guys. Fresh fish to Albania or medical equipment to Finland? Finland looks good to me so far. Hmm. Although I'm not really sure how far we can go. Medical equipment, yeah, it's very timely as well, right? And then we can... What I like about this, or we're starting in La Coruña. This is my favorite city at the moment in the entire DLC. It's very well done. It's very um, well modeled. I'll, I'll show you around later. And I think it also has one of those uh, fancy... Some of those fancy new garage uh, delivery points that Alex was saying. can actually deliver to... A garage like it will open for you and you will deliver the cargo indoors something along those lines I think my mirrors are way out of whack at least the right side <laughs> there's absolutely no benefit on the right mirror at the moment don't even know what's happening one second let's fix that <clears throat> uh, maybe adjust mirrors Left is kind of okay-ish. <clears throat> right is a mess. There you go. It's perfect. Front is just a tad different. There you go. Small left is a bit too low, I think. Okay, I think we can work with that. Finland looks juicy. Good choice. Okay, let's go with that then. You don't need music for these kinds of sounds. Nice to see that the true mirror FOV is effective, even for this truck. Not even sure how that true mirror FOV works. Because it seems like even for modded trucks, it's working. I thought it would only affect the default trucks. It doesn't sound like what you're supposed to hear from an Actros MP3. Ah, that would be great then. Might be good to try your own version for it. But yeah, you would know better. <laughs> so I trust your judgment there. Unanimous Finland choice. Hey, look at the city, guys. And yes, I'm just very casually showing off the Iberia <laughs> reward there. But okay, there. 
Look at this double roundabout uh, happening in here. Roundabout below and above in the highway. Wow, and look at that kind of traffic. Just completely ignoring us. Yeah, this is why I like Akronya. It's very custom made. It seems like a pro really made it uh, made it work here. Sounds like a Dafiro 6. It's not default SCS though, is it? <clears throat> I think it is crash bombs, probably. If you like use a sound, you use it. Yeah, exactly. I wouldn't know either. As long as you give me something that sounds great, I'm happy enough. Of course, some people would have a better ear for that and I leave that to them. That's outside my area of expertise. Thankfully, we have people like Max to cover that ground for us. pretty good so far feeling of the driving the physics seems pretty good as well heavy because sometimes when the truck is not properly modeled you would feel it in your steering wheel in the force feedback when you're hauling something later we'll see once the trailer gets loaded you'll feel that the, the steering wheel gets lighter because I think the 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 truck kind of tips back like that so it's not so snug in the front axle it kind of lifts a bit so the steering wheel pressure is a bit alleviated and that's a bad thing because the weight and balance so to speak is not even this is my favorite part of this city this kind of uh, what do you call this fly over overpass kind of thing I think it's for pedestrians though huh Oh, I would have rushed to drive over that. <laughs> Let's take a photo there, guys. It's a very nice area. <clears throat> it's not bad. Yeah, I think it's great. It's more than enough for now. Maybe it can be improved further, but uh, I don't have big complaints for it. I would say it's around uh, from my basic ears. It's around maybe 90% there. The remaining 10% we can improve more on. <clears throat> Gothic did the recording, but maybe if Griffin recorded, maybe. Ah, is this the one? Yeah, I, I, I remember that. So there was something, I think either Dotic or someone he knows recorded the sounds, and then Krishbom was the one who mixed it. Is this the result, what we're hearing? This doesn't sound bad at all. Awesome. Thanks, Alex. So let's drive with this a bit. And then on the next rest area, the next rest area we find, or when we pick up the job, let's save it. And then let's go out and enable the dashboard, see if you like it better. I think I should have that downloaded already. The MP3 realistic dashboard from Oscar. I sure like his mods. The only problem with these mods is um, they don't, of, they oftentimes don't work with modded trucks. But I guess that mainly depends on what the modded truck is using, what computer dashboard it's using. And I, if I remember correctly, if I, when I looked at the SES forums from Dotec for this thread. I think there's an item there. Ooh, there's a bus stop here. D bus mod for the win. That can work. Um, what was I saying? Uh, the Dotec uh, website, the Dotec forum thread. Um, I think he is working on a computer dashboard himself as well. But the progress is still 0% from what I've seen. So maybe that is further on in the updates. Maybe in the next version. If you guys have more info, I'll read it in chat. Changes game parameter for mirrors, so it affects every truck. Ah, I see Celebones. Welcome back, by the way. You got a massive stutter there. So that's why the true mirror FOV works awesome. 
it's great to hear makes it a lot more universal huh how much better SES has gotten at making maps yeah I know right and in some areas in many areas of the of Iberia it's really great it just it's just some specific areas I think that are a bit lacking I think they weren't able to polish at a hundred percent but given the size of this DLC I think it's almost the same dang it almost the same size as the entire base game it's like even if you just buy this DLC it's like your map area doubles yeah with that size I would say they've done a fantastic job I just hope they continue polishing it adding those missing signs correcting those uh, uh, inaccurate or uh, misleading or suddenly changing um, settings on the road like the AI suddenly slowing down because the speed limit suddenly changing things like that yeah look at this city right this actually feels a bit like Grand Utopia <clears throat> how detailed it is and performance is not bad at all there's a realistic dash computer and a corrected gauge mod what is a what is the corrected gauge <clears throat> what is wrong with the gauges okay let's take that one stutter delete windows <laughs> we really need the stutter stutter emote i think not the v8s ah, i see your version your current version i think i get that bow bow um, I think that can be minimized if you increase the shadow size. Have you tried increasing the shadow size in the config file? I'm not sure if you can completely eliminate that effect, but it should lessen dramatically. <clears throat> this trailer feels like a boat, a floating boat on the road. And how it looks and how it feels not sure what i feel about that you guys know me and boats we don't really get along that well <laughs> oh my goodness why am i not reversing this properly okay let's fix that promo still has micro stutter problems yeah i think so i think some area specifically or is it anywhere you go maybe that looks great but yeah the the reversing experience is so much better to the tr true mirror fov feels a lot more realistic doesn't it boat <laughs> shadow size at sixteen thousand now oh no i think it will just not meet your standards really you have much higher standards with the graphics because you've seen how it can look in other games and boat for the win thanks for following welcome to the channel and now we quit the game <laughs> just for now just for now for excise labels for rev counter speedometer fuel and air pressure gauges ah oh wow that's nice okay and that also works with this mod thank you let me make sure that i have them <clears throat> realistic dashboard Give me a few seconds, guys, huh? Oh my goodness, it's hot today. Maybe the lights are not helping. Okay, the dashboard I have already, but the gauges I don't. I'll have to remember to add that to the mods list later. Thank you, I've downloaded it. Let me load up the game again. <coughs> yeah, Pumizanya is so good, right? Misania is so good. It does though. It does a bit. Yes, I, I'll show you later. I can't do it so much because I have this mic in front of me, but in general, it should. To a point. It, you can't go like beyond the, the windshield. It has a limited range. 
but it should work okay so we have the corrected cages here let's put that above the truck and also in terms of the dashboard uh mp3 2009 yes that's this one hey sufrin <clears throat> thanks for joining and thanks for the follow appreciate it let us know if you have questions on the mods list if you're looking for a specific one so many mods <laughs> That's actually been uh, cleaned up already. You can see a lot of hidden rows. If you look at the row numbers, guys, in the left side of the mods list, you'll find like 64, 65, and then suddenly it's 120 because all the others in between have been hidden to reduce the clutter. If the game crashes, I'm leaving. How about if the maps compile again? I'm going to blame Alex. <laughs> if the GPS computes the routes again, oh, I'm going to cry. Hopefully not. <clears throat> I highly recommend a track IR. Yes, uh, it's a bit expensive. Yes, but if you are really into simulators, driving, uh, flying, it's a. I would say after the steering wheel, it's the next one you should get. I highly recommend it. It has improved my immersion immensely. <clears throat> okay, let's see how this looks. <laughs> hey, Blah! <laughs> how are you? <laughs> Clumsy Geek voice navigation mod coming out. <clears throat> that would be nice. There was actually even someone who commented, who asked about, um, I think, oh, Mrs. Clumsy voice pack. When we had that Mrs. Clumsy um, cameo at one point. Ah, there it is. Realistic dashboard. Looks more like a retro dashboard, huh? With the low pixel count uh, kind of look. At blue tank. The nice thing about this, aside from looking more realistic, is you actually have a digital speedo. I don't notice any change on the actual gauges, but the dashboard definitely changed. The computer dashboard. Right, I'm good with that. Let's go. Good luck though. Hazardous duty pay. Oh my goodness. Hopefully not. Have we carried the medical equipment already? Okay. Let's get this going. So, how are you guys doing in your areas? Oh, they, they think this is one of the new companies, right? That Shumi improved. Adif? I guess that's a real company. I'm a bit sad that I won't see my favorite company in Iberia anymore, the APP. Remember that, guys, when we were doing our No GPS Challenge and... Uh, we, I was looking for the... What's the full name? The APP has a full name. And I was like, uh, couldn't find it, and I didn't know it st stood for APP. <laughs> but yeah, now I won't see that anymore. <clears throat> Are we going here? Hopefully not. Whoa, okay. Guys in a hurry. So what does this uh, prefab thing fix? I think it only fixes Iberia, that's first. It fixes not really the AI logic, but more the map, the roads, I think. The AI pathing on the roads in Iberia specifically, I think. So that might be what's getting fixed. At least that's, at least that's how I understood it. So we get better merging logic uh, with the the shoulders and with the toll gates but I don't think they can change actually the the AI logic itself for Eddie Stover <laughs> close enough let me take a photo here nah let's take a photo later but yeah I wanted to tour you guys around here in Acuruña so detailed right Reminds me of Grand Utopia level of detail and the variety. Whoa, look at this! 
<laughs> an actual street sweeper kind of thing. Okay, head on with me. Which one? The car in the roundabout? Yeah. So how are you guys doing? Sorry I missed so many messages in the beginning. Just trying to catch up. But yeah, look at that. Yeah, bus stops. I wonder when the bus will add Iberia routes. I think this is going to be perfect for that. I think you can even stay in Acoronia and just deliver passengers around the city. An intra-city bus in Acoronia, I think it'd be viable with this level of detail. The car after the roundabout. Ah, I see. Where are we exiting? Is it this one? Is it this? Countryside roads in Iberia. Oh yeah, I saw the screenshots in Discord. That was nice and it's great to see that there are actually country roads in Iberia. Yeah, which area is that? Which region is that? I guess you would have to manually path through them by default the GPS won't go through them unless you pick the small roads option Telemetry on D bus. Tom check will fix it soon. Ah, I see. What's the problem? So is D bus not working at all? I think the last when I last looked at D bus Discord last maybe two days ago, I think it was saying it should be working. Why am I outside my lane once again? Where should we be going guys? I didn't really study the route. Well left. It says the GPS. So let's follow it. And this guy is not letting me pass. Thank you. Yes, with the normal track IRs you should get this clip. That's what I have. I don't have the pro version. It was not available here. gates that might be it one of it like the, the merging lane logic is this the right lane yes okay good cheaper and better I think you can find a way to connect it to your headset, right? Your to your headphones, so you won't need a cap. <clears throat> oh, my Coruña! It's a nice city. So, where are you guys driving at the moment? Have you graduated from Iberia already? Guys, still doing the event. Oh, I like those interior sounds. I cannot get out, cannot get enough of them. I remember when it first released, I wasn't such a big fan. It sounded a bit weird to me, and I didn't download it immediately. I'm talking about the interior sounds from Zemon with the air shifting, air seat sounds. But now I've grown into it, it's so nice. And now that he's added those rattling sounds as well. I think I even like it better than the the sloshing water from EVR before. You guys remember that? Back when EVR first released his I think was it the when yeah, I think it was the start of his paid mods or was it free? When he first released that one. That when your cabin shakes, we actually hear that like sloshing water sound. Like a water jug be being sloshed around. That was the best sound in the 
interior shake I've heard. I've been missing it since. But I think now with uh, this one, I'm okay. I can live without it again. <clears throat> 70 here. Let's follow that. Oh, that's you, Babo. Yeah, I remember someone was uh, telling me that it could work. I just couldn't remember who it was exactly. Oh, this is beautiful, of course. Bridge shot. That is amazing. We're in Honigsvag. I was thinking of starting there, but I thought with everything that's been happening in Iberia, the Pro Mods AI fix and the real company mod from Shumi, I think it's better if you start in Iberia to check those out first. Make our way north. <clears throat> Heading towards uh, Ciudad Real. From Badajoz. Nice. Oh, there are country roads there. I see. Maybe we'll find some here as well in the north. I'm not sure. The interior sounds do seem a bit soft though, don't they? Let me see if I can tweak that with the sliders maybe there's a way interior sounds volume yeah let's max that out yeah that's better can't wait for tmp it's been a while since we've gone uh, and done the convoy huh The main thing that's uh, preventing me from getting into MP so often is, well, still the lack of mods. I think without traffic is okay because when you're doing a convoy, you don't need as much traffic anyway. You have all the company you need already, right? But yeah, I think the lack of mods is a real deal breaker, especially because you don't have access to sound mods. <laughs> Maybe you'll just need a pretty loud music, huh? Maybe that can work. I think I guess that's why you have Truckers FM. <laughs> perfect companion for MP. Yeah, I think it's a perfect combo. Yes. Yeah. The MP with new graphics and Truckers FM. Getting these micro stutters. <laughs> My sounding familiar. No, but yeah, I, I haven't gotten them in a while. Not sure where they're coming from. There are theories that they come from when you have an owned trailer. You're using an owned trailer. I've had that before, but I, I don't think it is the culprit. I think it's more pro mods, if anything. But then again, I haven't really gotten those stutters in the other profile even if I have pro mod so maybe it's a different thing I don't know we'll have to observe it <laughs> he's rubbing, rubbing off on me radio is a savior I can imagine one sec guys huh? let me just open the map here I think we will do need to do a bit of rerouting just to discover these cities. Um, maybe go through that. Yeah, that would be nice. Going through the roundabout to discover it. And that one as well. Um, something like that, maybe. What is that? Is that the viewpoint, you guys think? Just enjoying the scenery here in the northern region of Spain. Also looks like there is an upcoming bridge that looks quite nice. Oh, that looks great. I'll have to take a photo there. Rios and Anleo e something.
Oops, sorry. I've heard about that, Calvin, but I think it's outdated. Has someone updated it? It's actually a very interesting concept. I was looking for that before when I wanted to get into Truckers MP more, the plugin. And in theory, it should be able to work to a limited level, I think, because with the SDK, with telemetry, you would know when the truck is accelerating, you would know when the engine is being loaded or something, right? And uh, so you can link that up when you know that and you play a specific sound and then you can adjust the sound levels based on the level of the, the revving, for example, and then other stuff as well. So in theory, I think it can work. Um, in practice, I think it's a bit more complicated than that. So I'm not sure how successful it is. And of course, you'll need different sets of sounds for different trucks and uh, that might get pretty complex. Stutters are from pro mods. Might be, might be, we'll have to observe. It's so hard to spot all of those, huh? Oh, I like that. Before I really tried to make the truck as stable as possible to prevent any kind of shaking because the, the sounds irk me a bit. It's like a, a, a mini punishment. It's not because the sounds are bad. It's just because like when that sounds, it's like you did something wrong. So I kind of try to avoid it. But yeah, with, with these sounds, it's kind of like, oh, it's, it's okay. It's nice. Not purposely looking for it or making the truck shake or anything, but it's nice to get. Have we discovered Navi already? Not yet. Why is not not unlocked? Um, I might have to stop by the rest area. Hey, grey dog. Hey, bro. What's up, bros? <laughs> How have you guys been doing? One truck for all sounds, yeah, I would imagine. You can change that, but you'll have to change the sound files, I guess. Of the plugin. I still haven't discovered the city, interesting. Okay. Yeah, but it works very differently. Like, you can't really use any of your F mod sounds. It really has to be custom made. That clicking sound is actually growing on me. I'm starting to like it more and more. I think overall I still am a bigger fan of the Cummins N14 sound of the DAF 95. But the overall package, my goodness, this MP3, great combo. Um, which one is it? This one. To key home. Been so busy this week. Work on refrigerated trailer sounds. Oh, that's awesome. I I was reading about that drive safely. Um, I I wanted to try it out, but I think there's a major limitation at the moment, right? Oh my goodness, that was a big one. So big stutter, even the cabin shook. I think I saw a forum thread about that, how to activate reefer uh, sounds for your trailer. But I think it has a major limitation that you cannot move. Is that, did I read it right? Like when you start moving, the sound will actually get left behind where you were. So. I guess it's okay when you're parked, but you can't really have it while you're driving. Oh yeah, if, ma if you could get Max interested in that uh, sound plugin, we might have hope. <laughs> Go for it. 78 gig of Steam Workshop content in total though. My goodness. How did it get that big? How do, how do you measure that? Is there an option in Steam? You look for the workshop directory maybe, huh? Well, 
What is a 5M style MP? Oh, there's a viaduct coming up, I think. Should be somewhere nearby. Tree size. Ah. Yeah. I think it's great when you want to hear the reefer trailer sounds. It's great for, I think, cinematic videos. And you know those things that the, the fancy content creators create that make? They make. Uh, I'm not a part of them, unfortunately. I don't know how to make cinematic uh, videos. That is way on my skill. But yeah, some artistic guys, they have these like panning and uh, all the different angles of the truck, right? And then if you can hear the reefer trailer sounds in addition, that would be great. I don't even know how they sound like. I can imagine. Does, does it sound like an air conditioner unit, like in the house? Maybe similar? Fan spinning and whatnot? But yeah. That would be cool. Which video coming out today? That's like a staple question from Asim. Uh, what is coming out today? You know what? I can't remember. Ah! Season 2. Yes, Season 2. Will be coming out later. Will be continuing Season 2 finally. Yeah, I did miss the MP4. Driving that Toys R Us MP4. ETS2 Steam Directory. I think the workshop items are in a slightly different directory. But yeah, I think there is a specific directory for it. Hey Richard, how do you read that? What does that mean? 5M is GTA Online with mods. Ah, I see. Wow, is this the viaduct, guys? Or is that the right term? Let's take a photo. Once we get a little bit past it, like so. Sounds like an engine at a fixed RPM. Ah, technically an engine in a trailer. Ah, makes sense, makes sense. Like an APU in a plane. Like a mini engine on its own. You guys hear that sipping sound? <laughs> Where did that come from? <laughs> yeah, finally season two. I've been waiting for it as well. Yeah, I was hoping we could do like we could trick and just include the reefer sound as part of the bank file or whatnot. So that it would be part of the truck and not part of the environment or anything. It would be interesting the when it would trigger. But then again, isn't that similar to how, for example, Max does it? Like the, what was that thing guys, the compressor? Can't you do something similar but have it instead play the reefer sound non-stop? Like instead of triggering at a random point like the compressor does, or random point, I guess there's a specific point when it triggers, can it not like trigger always and you just have a bank file that has like, okay, this is the engine sound with reefer, with, with the reefer sound built in, and this is, we have to exit here, oh crap. And this is the re, the engine sound without the reefer sound add-on. Add I, I guess it would be tricky because it would be per engine, right? It would be per truck. But I think that could 
be a viable thing because at least you will be able to take the sound with you. You can move around and still have the sound there. Stay behind because you mod a trailer brace sound and trailer brace animations aren't expected to play when moving. Interesting. Yeah, so if we could find some way to merge that with a truck sound, then maybe we could have it move. That would be a per engine thing. Yeah, that's a hard thing about it. So either way, you get a limitation. But yeah, with guys like Max, Krishvom, Zmod. I think if we work with them, we can always have that kind of, if they are interested that is, we can have that integrated somewhat, like all the mods, all the engines they release have a, a reefer variant. <laughs> Not sure how much uh, difficulty that can be though, that would really depend on their interest in such a sound, maybe it's not a big thing for them in the corresponding workload that translates to it's great that the sounds are there in the first place thanks to drive safely a reefer customization option hmm. how is it because i think if i remember correctly each engine, I'm trying to remember in the definition files, each engine has its, uh, like in the engine definition file, you would specify which sound file to use or which sound reference to, to look at. So basically you have like a, each, each engine is assigned to a specific sound. So the only way to choose if it has that reefer sound or not is to have an engine option. So like having, for example, a 550 horsepower with and without reefer, and those would link to different files, maybe something like that. For graphics as well. Trailers. Oh, do the trailers have their own banks? That would be that would be much great better. Did we did we discover something, guys? A city. That was my hope. Why I was going through these detours. Yes, I do, Asib. Ah. Could be, huh? That could be the culprit. I think I have it enabled in all my profiles. I guess it depends on the AI trailer, AI vehicle. Let's see? Hey, slider! Sorry, I missed you there. How are you, man? Where have you been driving recently? can specify which trailer brace sound plays for each trailer ah so, but yeah that comes with the limitation that it doesn't move with you i see there is no specific like just trailer sound on its own axel lift sound always play <laughs> <laughs> that would be a great workaround. Like, like you press Y to start the axle sound, but it's actually not the axle sound that plays, it's the reefer sound. And then the reefer sound goes on indefinitely. Ooh. <laughs> Is there a time limit for a, a certain type of sound? That would be interesting. Cruising Iberia. Lots to see, definitely agree. 
Max Gotsman. So how are you guys doing in your respective countries? Goodness. How long have, has it been since the times changed? <laughs> I think it's been more than a year, right? Here in Singapore, we're starting to be able to go out. But... Recently, just yesterday, I think we might be, there might be a possibility for trouble again. I think infections are rising again because of the different variants or something. It's not yet confirmed, but I think we have to be extra careful again. <coughs> Tricky. Dunkin' Donuts? Ooh, nice. Went into another lockdown. Yeah, it's very tricky, isn't it? I wonder which mod this comes from. I like that. I like the coffee in Dunkin' Donuts. Or maybe it's the donuts that make the coffee better. The combination of a sweet and uh, bitter. Locked down again because of the cases. Yeah. I think these different variants are really getting smart, huh? These mutations. Tricky stuff. Stay home guys. I'll get through this eventually. Before I was under the assumption that eventually herd immunity would work. If we just uh, you try to minimize it, you try to control it, and at the end of the day, everyone will either get infected or vaccinated, and that's it. But yeah, I didn't understand that there's also a factor that the more infections there are, the more chances of mutations. Uh, these new variants could pop up. This uh, virus is smart. So we should be smarter. Slowly going up. Although I think in terms of vaccination rates, the US is doing a very good job, right? I think you guys have, what, vaccinated millions already. You got getting your COVID vaccination shot tomorrow. Nice, congrats, man. Um, is that the one shot or two shot kind of thing? How many jabs are you getting? I think usually it's the two jabs, right? One first and then a couple of weeks after the second. I think there's only one var one vaccine right now which has the, just one jab. Yes, you can use the lift axle while moving. It's a great idea, it might work. Hey Cheese, nice name. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. The Pfizer one, nice. Congrats, man. Over here, we still haven't gotten a schedule. I think they're still prioritizing the higher age groups. 200, wow. Goodness. How are you, Rohan? What are you playing recently? How's cool? Also rising in Pakistan. Stay safe, guys. Yeah, India, I think, is having a hard time as well. We had to close off, I think, the borders from India yesterday. It was announced. 
sometimes I think of the different kinds of mutations. <laughs> I have stutters. <laughs> oh yeah, micro stutters. Karma. <laughs> That's what you call karma. He's been playing his Mexican horn. Oh Rohan? Okay, you can stay over on that side. <laughs> Play it as much as you want as long as no one else hears. Clumsy. Oh no. It's going to be very tricky. I actually hear the wind sounds quite nice. But it's so subtle now. It's not um, ruining the experience anymore. It's just like a very, very weak whistling wind sound from the wind noise mod from Z mod. It's quite nice. You can barely hear it. Clumpy bro. Where are we anyway? I have no idea where we are guys. I think we're still in Iberia. That's the best I could tell. I, I know I went through some roundabouts a while ago based on the, the route that we set. But I have no idea if any of them worked. If we actually discovered any city. What is that? Oh, interesting. Looks like a memorial. I saw some photos of people. Hmm. Gearing up for the new DD wheel. Oh my goodness. What is that? Like just the wheel shaft, right? Is uh, how much? Two fifty, three fifty dollars, and then you would have to buy the wheel itself, the pedals, the shifter, and all the other parts, bit by bit by bit. I don't have much appreciation for it at the moment because the price is just mind-boggling, and hopefully I don't get an appreciation because if I do. I might start craving after it. It's going to be a dangerous thing. True force. True force. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's been a while since I was able to watch him. What's his YouTube name? Gamer Muscle, right? Mr. True Force himself. That was an amazing video. <clears throat> who is Glumpy? <laughs> For those who don't know Glumpy, let me introduce you to him. This is Glumpy. Yeah, Glumpy doesn't like face cam. Glumpy is not allowed to show face cam. Because no one cares about uh, his, uh, his face and everyone is just all about the gameplay. Thankfully, Clumpsy, Clumpy is not always there. Sometimes Clumsy makes a comeback, so you have Clumsy here right now. <laughs> Although I think it's pretty bright, huh? Hmm, looks like the AI merging is not so clear. I look like an apparition now, right now. I think with the super bright white lights. Um, the problem is I can't reach the controls. Turn off track IR. Let me move the mic a bit. Let's see if I can reach it. a bit better looks a tad better still a bit bright yeah we'll have to continuously adjust it it's a bit tricky about that It's 
bit dark na. <laughs> they tasking for the win. Okay, that should be okay-ish enough. I think it's going to rain outside, so it's darker. Even with the 350 new DD base, the price of any Fanatec setup will still be more expensive than... Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Have you guys tried one for yourself and how different the feeling is? Because I think once you really get a chance to try it, you will understand. But I'm not sure if I want to get there. I think I'd rather stay ignorant <laughs> to keep the cravings away. But maybe mostly it's more it's more effective or more useful for racing. Maybe not so much for trucking, I'm hoping. Trust muster can get very expensive as well. Ah, I see. Yeah, it's been enabled. I think the pro mods uh, improvement can only go so far. So I think the pro mods improvement fixes some of the prefabs. So it changes the pathing of the AI. Like when they merge. So it makes it a more gradual merge, but it doesn't really change the AI logic itself. So the calculations that come into whether I should merge or stop, I think, is not changed it's on its own. So improving the prefabs does have its limits. Wouldn't be worth the price of a DD wheel just for trucking. Whew, that's good to hear. <laughs> that's good to hear. Ah, there we go. Santander. Oh, I forgot. I thought that was in automatic. Kept waiting for the gear to shift up. Should we slow down? Not really. Eighty, maybe. Okay, fine. What is a load cell? So that, that's a different mechanism than direct drive. Yeah, I don't really know much about these different mechanisms. Um, I think we are going... Oh, okay, I think we're going to the port here. Yeah. Okay. Just to sightsee it, I think. Good for racing. Better belt driven wheel. So the default ones, these ones that these wheels that we're using, the G27, the True Force, these are belt driven wheels. I think you tried to explain that to me before, but I just don't get it. <laughs> And then as compared to a direct drive, the mechanism is different. We liked it better for trucking. The load cell. A brake mod that allows you to brake depending on the pressure you apply. 
But shouldn't that be how it works already anyway? <laughs> I think we need a driving time level of explanation in here. Driving time, crew racks level explanation. Or if you want a longitude latitude explanation, should we go there again? <laughs> that might end up in a disaster. Watch the wheels are gear driven. Brakes on the G29 pedals. Yeah, I must be very bad at this because I don't notice these things. Okay, let's go and explore this viewpoint. We went all the way here, might as well view it. Oh, that's nice. Actually, have some kind of advertisement going on there. <clears throat> Ferry port of Santander. Logitechs are gear driven. Thrustmaster and normal fanatics are belt driven. And the DTs are direct driven. Oh, okay. So, those are the Logitech ones are even different, I see. <clears throat> Subdue the helicopter sounds. Fly questionably low. That must be me. <laughs> Works by pedal travel. So how far you've how far the pedal is pressed from zero to one, for example. But load cell works by pressure. Uh, I'm trying to tr I'm trying to remember how it feels in an actual car when you're braking. It's like it's not really it doesn't really travel that far, right? It kind of like you you meet some kind of resistance as you step on the brakes harder. And then the harder you fight against that resistance, the more it breaks. This is in Santander. Santander. <laughs> I have no idea how to pronounce it properly, but you get the point. TD wheels have way more powerful force feedback. More realistic feedback and they are way smoother. Ooh. So you have, so are there load cell add-ons for normal wheels? Maybe that's something I can try. Pedals are potentiometer. My goodness. <laughs> I've heard about that, but I have no idea what it means. see there are load cell add-ons but I guess you'd have to do a bit of um, how do you say dismantling some assembly add load cell to almost any pedal yeah the beep is very nice it's a nice add-on a nice touch a lot of people actually look for that beep also in other trucks. Who was that? I think it was... Was it Scan? I think he was looking for... He, there was a preview of Zmod's upcoming next-gen Scania sounds. And I think Scan was wait, looking for the beeping when you start the engine. Pedals must be taken apart. Put an eraser in your brake pedal. That might be a quick fix, but I'm not sure if you would classify it as a fix. The beep can also be heard from the outside. Oh, so that's a current limitation. I see. It's not really a big thing for me personally. Like I would just imagine you're still inside the truck. 
So you're hearing everything from inside, but just uh, in an outside view. Hey Andy, how are you? Thanks for joining the stream. Are you a trucking fan as well? differently so it's not heard from outside nice okay getting back on the road How are you bought? Welcome back. Ah, I see. So it's like part of the engine startup sound, maybe. Okay, build by yes. <laughs> Hey bro. How are my bros doing? Five so far of the challenge. You'll get there. Thanks a bit, Andy. Wow, look at that crosswind. Using the N14 engine sound makes your Scania sound great. Make sure not to let the other hardcore simmers hear that though. They'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> the, I like that comment from Alex, the, the one he pointed out in Discord. If you guys remember, we recently had a uh, Q&A where Plum was asking what how would what would you call a game versus a sim? When would you call it a game and when would you call it a sim? Ooh, yikes. And yeah, each one has their own definitions. I've, uh, I have my own, I've read a lot of comments with their own definitions. Thanks for uh, commenting that so I can read them and get different insights. Some I don't really agree with, but that's fine. We all have our own definitions and uh, we don't necessarily have to agree with each other. Turn on the lights here. Rancha. Um, but Alex made this good point in Discord when he replied to that. Like at the end of it all, we can call it a game or a sim, but at the end of it all, it's uh, they're all games with different levels of simulation in there, but they are games. And the important point is to enjoy it as a game. There are some people who get super serious about the simulation aspect that they kind of like, pardon the term, but they crucify anyone who's trying to veer even a tad away from realism, which I don't think should be done. We're all free to do what we want, especially in these kinds of games. And uh, yeah, to each his own, right? You do you. Isn't that a famous term these days? Exactly, bot. Exactly. Yeah. Great to hear these uh, different workarounds for some of the engine sound engine limitations we have community crowdsourcing me 11 how many have you done rohan
drive realistically but just change the engine sounds that's all don't drive 100 miles per hour everywhere yeah and if you do that should be fine if that's what you want right if you want to try if you want to drive it gta style then it's just a lot harder doing that kind of thing in YouTube because when when you make a video, you release it to the entire world, you subject yourself to all these kinds of criticisms and uh, points of view which not, may not always be sensical. <laughs> but yeah, I completely agree with that. When that someone else pays for my computer wheel shifter, then they can tell me how to play the game. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah, that's that's why I don't like any kind of like shaming. We've had that a couple of times in the Discord, and I highly, I really try to uh, push that away when that kind of things happen. We have we've had several instances in Discord when people are happily sharing their screenshots. They're enjoying the game and then someone comments oh what an ugly or or real real trucks like this don't have that or why do you have this kind of option it's like because um, i want to because <laughs> it looks good so it's it's okay to like give information on what is the real truck config Ooh, nice very nice trailer options in here is that sizzles or is that from the coffee pack, maybe, that I have? Yeah. So it's, it's, it's good to know these, like, real-life configs, but uh, I wouldn't put it against other people if they're not really into that 100% realism stuff, right? We all have our own levels. That's the beautiful thing about these games, these sims. They're, you can balance them the right way. Keep the realistic things only as much as you want. And then remove everything that you don't like. So it's, it's really up to you. It's how sandboxy. So you are in full control on how realistic or how fictional it can be. And oftentimes, the best balance is somewhere in between. Having it fully realistic sometimes, it's uh, it's a bit more of a pain, right? Um, is this the right way? I don't know where my GPS is taking me anymore. Just following it blindly. Me and coffee, oh yes. Realized it's something the delivery doesn't count. Really? You mean in the the cruising Iberia event? I think I've hit something a couple of times. <laughs> I think it still got counted. It's not really a no damage challenge, is it? Or did I miss that part? Is your GPS drunk? <laughs> it seems like it. I think I. It was the, the probably the guy who programmed the GPS who was drunk, which is me. Oh, what is this hamburger thing? Oh yes, this is also one of the improvements in the Pro Mods uh, prefab changes. I think they prevented AI from turning right when on the left lane, something like that. So basically, there's a better behavior of AI in these hamburger junctions, straight throughs. straight about how do you call it again through about through about oh stutter stutter yeah it looks like there is a memory leak somewhere that's why we are getting those stutters from time to time the gpu memory currently being used is 9.5 gigs so yeah it's really it's starting to max out my GPU. So I guess that stutter is when the different textures have to get unloaded and reloaded, like switched out. It's probably from a mod somewhere taking up too much space. B 
you've had AI hit you and still counted. <clears throat> There's a guy who got banned for a month for not obeying the giveaway sign. You mean in Trucker's MP? Well, in Trucker's MP, that's a different deal. You have to follow the rules of the server, right? You're not, uh, you don't have uh, complete freedom in there. And that's understandable in that case. Because you are playing with other people. So you have to adhere to a, the same sets of conditions. To keep it fair. Yeah. Is on an M.2 drive. <sighs> I haven't gotten these stutters in a while. Wonder what changed. I'll have to observe that that one again. Hmm. I have gotten them from time to time, like once every let's say 30 minutes or 20 minutes so they're not bad I can live with them but the big ones are those which really cause a stutter and then cause your cabin to even shake and then cause your steering your force feedback to disappear while that stutter is happening that's the bad one those are the bad types I feel like I've gone through here before am I just going around and around <laughs> let's double check that um, okay I think this time it's the real thing If you have 75 card then no stutters. If you don't play the game you don't then you don't get stutters. <laughs> I think that's the safest bet to avoid all those stutters in the first place. After you left Iberia, the stutters mostly went away. Maybe. Oh, oh my goodness, this is a very, very dangerous junction, huh? Wonder if it's like that in real life. You do have a yield sign there. So I guess as long as you follow the traffic rules properly, and like I did, we should be mostly okay. Yeah, remember when I did that drive from Rotterdam to London in Pro Mods areas? It was pretty smooth. Definitely none of those um, disastrous stutters. But yeah, that's the main reason as well why I don't like having like a massive map combo anymore because the more mods you have the more chances of stutter winning right and i've gotten that already when i had the the major map combos like even now with even just pro mods as a map mod you almost can't find the main culprit causing it anymore how much more if you add all the other maps all the other add-ons it makes things so much more complicated And I mean, I'm not really doing long hauls so much. So if I want to drive in a specific area, then I enable it. If I don't, then I disable it for the moment. Just to simplify things. Less chances of uh, mod conflicts and uh, complexities from happening. Is that Dal? <laughs> Is Dal here? That's something that I wanted to highlight as well. This thing here. I saw it in Beast's video, I think. Let, let's see how we, how we turn it on. One sec, huh? Stop here. Just to show you. So I think the tachometer is kind of modeled. That one. Ah, I see, I see. 
that just coincides with you starting the engine so when you start the electronics it starts up start the engine it actually inserts the card and when you turn off the engine it puts everything off and pulls out the card nice touch nice touch very small detail but uh, highly appreciated not functional at all but nice to have right very cool <laughs> yeah now is uh, the perfect time to for jack to make a <laughs> an entrance yeah that's very nice lights please thank you yeah that ju just gives you a peek into how much attention to detail Totek is putting into these truck mods. I should never have underestimated him. As I was saying a while ago, when I first heard that Totek released MP3, I was like, oh cool, okay, MP3. I'm not really the biggest MP3 fan. <clears throat> but yeah, Totek is on a different level when it comes to truck mods. Pretty happy I checked it out. You never noticed it. Yeah, I only noticed it because I watched Beast's video on it. I saw there was a part where I was inserting the card there. Like that beep. Yeah, someone commented as well a while ago. They like the beeping sound. Very nice. Uh, gets you immersed but nothing can beat the startup sound of the Fuso yeah Jack really should be here no Dotek is free Dotek is uh, Dotex is a free mod mods list should have that link for you it's also available in the Steam Workshop actually one of the featured mods in there at the moment there you go thanks a lot Alex okay perfect timing I think it's time to sleep As nice as Iberia is, it was so nice driving through those pro mods areas again. So I'm really looking forward to bridging over again and uh, going to those areas. Because when it's pro mods content, you really know that it's it's full. You know, like the signage will be accurate. And uh, yes, in some areas it will be a bit outdated. Some of the older pro mods areas, but in general, you're sure that quality will be there the gauges are lighting up with the ignition and the interior rest of the interior lights do light up when turning on the lights um oh yeah you mean that one yeah Gauges are lighting up with the ignition. I don't quite get that. Am I missing something? That lighting up with the ignition part is one I don't understand. Ah, this one here. Okay. That one enough. Or should I keep the lights on? That? Oh. Is that the one with the lights coming off when you start the engine? <clears throat> is that something that's not in default trucks? Because that is pretty realistic, right? It's nice. Even the parking brake sounds are cool. Good. 
Not in default trucks. Cool. Nice attention to detail there. Good catch. Well, it's a lot darker now than it started, but this that should work later on. No, not the headlights. Oh, which one? I'll try and read that again if it will make more sense to me. Second time. Cages are lighting up with the ignition. Gauges meaning these ones, the, the ones for the revs, the speed. Lighting up with the ignition. So when you start the engine. Oh, the LED lights as well. Ah, one second. Yeah, those blue, uh, blue small dots there. That's one of the add-ons. Can I press beacon? Is there something that happens? Not really. Okay, not that one. The dash lights went on while starting the engine. Ah, okay. Let me try and notice that. So what should I do, guys? Guide me a bit here so everyone can see. So I stop here. I turn off the engine. Good. And then what? I start the engine or I turn on the lights first? Add blue bar. Turn on the ignition first. Okay. Oh, you mean this one? So when when you turn on like the the electronics, that one lights up. Not when you really start the engine. Okay, I get you now. Ah, I see, I see. Right. It's a nice detail. So they keep off when you, the engine is not turned. And it's not on. It's nice that that actually can get implemented, huh? So they don't just turn on when they key is not turned at all nice now i'm with you guys these are the nice details that we want to see in the trucks right make it all more realistic increases the immersion with those little details Oh, I see. Nice. That's because of your request. <laughs> Great job. Um, I'm on the wrong lane. Interesting. Normally this would be the Telepass lane. Or is it... Are we in France already? So I should have been in there. Have we crossed over to France? I probably missed it. Telepass is probably there on the left lane. The easy pass or however you call it. That's Bayonne right in front of us. Just Bayonne. I have to adjust the lighting again. Good. 
we are in France officially. Have a good one, Max. Thanks for the insights. Appreciate your company and looking forward to your future works. Thanks for all the things you contribute to the community. Have a good one. <laughs> Please, no echo. I think thankfully Shumi has taken care of that, removed all the echoes in the world. In France at least. Take care bro. <laughs> oh yeah. Clumpy wouldn't even need to worry about them, right? get the wisdom in Glumpy's decision. Keep trying to use head tracking while watching. Hey Orsa. Oh I get the feeling. Yeah. When you're watching a video and you want to control it because of instinct. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Glumpy is always perfectly fit. Just no one sees it. <laughs> and no one can ever dispute it. No one ever again. of my face somewhere on the screen so I can see it easier if I need to adjust the lighting <laughs> Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde <laughs> oh my goodness clumsy and clumpy close enough I think What series are you guys watching at the moment? Looking for new shows to watch. <laughs> I think it would be more apt if I was the sidekick to Super Dal. <laughs> Can't put Super Dal in the backseat. Merging, okay. Merging. Oh, that worked. Okay, he didn't smash into me. Maybe Pro Mods Fix does work. Makes it a lot better. I was trying to read the signs. Forgot I'm in France already. I have less of a chance reading them again. As compared to when we were in Spain. Spanish signs I have a bit more chance. <clears throat> nice merge. I'm actually proud of that car. We're not in Iberia anymore, so that's probably attributed to the one of the recent 1.40 AI quote unquote improvements. <laughs> 4 a.m. My goodness, have a good night, Calvin. Good morning. Catch you soon, man. Thanks for the company. Have a great one, bro. Happy weekend. <clears throat> 
Has anyone here tried out the spring mod by Grimes? Any initial feedback? I've been staying away from it. Because <laughs> every time I, I think about uh, trying out the spring mod, it's like an image of bricks saying no with all caps comes into mind. No! Not the biggest fan but yeah I've heard some very good feedback about it Make it makes it really mirror, feel more like spring ah it has its own lighting feel so sick you slept all day goodness feel you feel better soon yeah we were here to keep you company for the next hour at least Maybe it has, huh? Maybe it has. I'm kind of hoping that it's just the textures that doesn't change any of the lighting anymore. But I think it does. I think even before it did, I, I removed like climate files from it for the longest time, I remember. Back when we, when we had NL. Seventy. Why? Why? Yeah, I remember especially for the winter mod. Especially when NL was here, I didn't want the gloomy skies in there. I wanted the snow but not the gloomy skies. So I would delete the climate file so I would get the beautiful NL skies and then the very nice snowy textures from Grimes. But in general I think yeah, the spring mod is very nice, it adds a lot of uh, flowers to the bushes it feel more like spring although there is a side effect that sometimes the bushes are a bit overgrown I think they kind of cover the road a bit but it shouldn't be that big a deal I don't think it should be such an immersion breaker I don't think most of us would even notice it I think the mainly the people who are map modders would be the ones who would notice especially the ones who made the map mod Yeah, same here. And L has some amazing skies. Huh? Sometimes it's overexposed, but most of the time it's great. Yeah, definitely the sky boxes. Huh? I hope we can bring that back somehow. I'm not even sure if we can use them. I, I guess not, huh? Because even if Kirill has stopped working on it, it's not really open for uh, editing for continuation by other people. Unless he gives his permission. It can be tricky. So I'm not familiar with modding when it comes to weather from what i've seen before modding weather is super complex because like if you look at the climate files the config the definition files there are so cluttered so many different parameters and everything seemed so manual i think there have been lots of improvements since then with the with the, the the structure yeah i haven't kept up to date with it yeah i kind of wish that there was a way to just say okay here are additional sky boxes use it as you will you know just use the existing weather but you have more sky boxes to choose from and i'd be happy enough with that but i'm not sure if there's an easy way to do that
duck points. Yeah, even the Discord server closed, huh? <laughs> Autocorrect messed up the punchline. So when's the next school break coming up, Rohan? I'm sure you are looking forward to that. Let's see if this works. Oh yeah. Oh, but then again, this isn't Iberia. So that shouldn't be affected, I think. So I, I think that's more on the improved AI logic by default again. Oh yeah, I have to do that oftentimes as well have to auto correct have to correct auto correct especially because i speak two languages right so my keyboard i have uh, english and filipino in there and english is pretty reliable when it comes to auto correct most of the words it can get it can fill out for me but when i speak tagalog when i speak filipino the the language the filipino language is very See what's the equivalent? We think maybe like similar to prepositions. Um, like we have a root word, and then that root word can have so many meanings depending on the additional letters you put inside it, and that's what confuses the keyboard so much because it's like it, 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 it predicts a word but if you modify that word add like two letters in between it becomes a totally new word right and so sometimes it doesn't know that so it would still try to autocorrect for the root word but then it wouldn't have the same meaning anymore so it, it, it gets a bit tricky yeah i guess that's one challenge that the keyboard uh, creators must uh, go must uh, face different languages having different rules and whatnot so the autocorrect has to be pretty agile for that the swift key swift key has been bought by microsoft already right i've been using it ever since even before it was bought it's a great keyboard It's especially useful when replying. <laughs> like, ever, if before, what was the question before, guys? Back when NL was here, I was saying something about the most asked question. Oh, I think it was about graphics mods, right? What graphics mods are you using? And then it was, hey, I had to answer NL or all the details and whatnot. SwiftKey is perfect for that, especially in these days when I have to like reply to people mods this link in the video description like i don't know five times per hour or something <laughs> yeah the the mods list link in the video description i use that sentence so much that the keyboard swift key in my phone it's able to predict that already so i just type m and the 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 word it would predict is mods and then based on that context it would predict the next word right so i would just keep on pressing that prediction non-stop modest and it would come up with a full sentence modest thing in the video description <laughs> and even some of the common questions like um uh what graphics mods do you use or uh where do you what what uh, what graphics settings do you use or how do you use NVIDIA Profile Inspector? So normally I, I would comment and I would link them to the RAWX site, right? In SwiftKey, you have that option to uh, make something permanent. You, you, you know, they copy-paste, right? Yeah, so that gets added to the clipboard. But in addition, you can save, you can bookmark those uh, saved messages, saved text. So you can just access them like they're forever in the clipboard. And it's so easy when replying. So when I reply to someone, oh, here's the raw excite. And that link is always there already. <laughs> it helps a bit. It's still a bit uh, painful sometimes, but it helps a ton. So yeah, yeah it's, that's why I very much ref prefer replying on my phone 
than on the PC as weird as that sounds <clears throat> so you get more of those predictions in place it's your phone that's answering the questions maybe that's where clumpy is coming from that where the P is coming from <laughs> P stands for phone cheating <laughs> it's not cheating if they don't know is that an abacus? interesting Yeah, I have to find ways to simplify, otherwise you go crazy. But yeah, these are good problems. These are good signs that our community is growing. Just as that some people need a bit more guidance than others. So we are happy to help. <laughs> and thankfully, I think recently uh, those spam bots have lessened. Um, YouTube probably did a great job there. They probably intervened and prevented that happening in the first place. The, the hack my GF's account kind of comments. Thankfully, those have toned down intensely. Stuttered. <laughs> I uh, was trying to ignore them already. back to my <laughs> I don't want to say it I don't want to name it to my unnamed syndrome stutter syndrome yeah let's not go there let's not name names oh that bubblehead <laughs> it looks a bit morbid if you shake it enough huh <laughs> that viking is my favorite I think it's so cool oh yar Maybe that not quite the right turn for it. That's true. That's a good point, Alex. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's gotten a lot smoother. Hmm. But then again, I don't remember stuttering so much in Iberia when they didn't have pro mods in. So maybe it's a combination of Iberia and pro mods. I don't know. That's the problem, right? When you have these stutters, it's so hard to pinpoint them. Hey, Dwarfy! Oh, oh. How are you, man? What have you been up to these days? What have you guys been up to these days? Have you been able to go out? Have you been able to go about your daily businesses? Things back to normal? Still stuck at home? For me, for the most part, still stuck at home. We can go out here already. We don't have lockdown or anything. We just have to wear masks and socially distance ourselves. But for the most part, restaurants are open. So at least we can go in, eat, and uh, unwind. We actually... Uh, me and Mrs. Clumsy went out a date recently. And it was nice because it was mostly free. <laughs> you know, things are tastiest when they're free. Because we, we frequent this establishment. It's pretty close to us. And it has pretty... Um, not the cheapest anymore. They kind of raised their prices recently. But well-priced um, alcohol and uh, very tasty food. And last year, during the peak of the lockdown when we really were locked down and we were not allowed to go out of the house um, uh, we wanted to support the local businesses because they were definitely having a hard time without customers so we wanted to support them so we were ordering from them I think I was telling that story last year and we tried to order from them as much as possible a couple of times a week example even if it was pricier we could uh, it was within our budget so yeah support as much as possible keep them afloat and it, it's very nice they were very thankful for it and as a um, kind of token of gratitude they sent us a message when ah, no more echo <laughs> bye echo <laughs> hello elf um, so they uh, they sent us a message when the lockdown finished thanking us and then telling us that if we ever wanted to um, they're, that they're inviting us for a meal 
Ooh, it's a helicopter. Where did they leave that? Cool. Oh, now I want to fly. So they they were they told us that we were welcome and we just reserve ahead of time, and they would take care of all the food. It's just the drinks that we have to pay for. So we could have technically, so we, and we, we took them up on that the other day because it's free and why not, right? And we, we, I just remembered that we had that. I, was for, I forgot it for a couple of months. So we could have technically the entire page one, <laughs> the entire menu, and that would have been all free. Uh, Microsoft updated that broke VSync. Oh yes, yes, yeah, Windows, yeah, I had to uninstall it. I got a uh, blue screen of death two days ago with that update. Weird that an old game like this still uses 3080 and it's full. Just get up to 60 FPS and sometimes goes back to 55. Yeah, that's interesting, Orsa. So you have a 3080? Mm, it might be your CPU. Because this game is a bit bottleneck in CPU, it only mainly uses a single thread. So even if you have multiple threads, especially if, for, for example, you have an AMD that's not a Ryzen 5. Oh crap. Yeah, I take back what I said about merging. Um, what was I saying? 38. Yeah, even if you have... Uh, multiple threads it will mostly use only one it will use maybe at most three or four but the other ones are just super minor hey rook thanks for joining how are you but yeah we so going back to the story we didn't really we were a bit how do you say decent about it you know even if we could technically order the entire menu first we wouldn't be able to finish it anyway it was just like pigging out and two it wouldn't be like we didn't want to we wanted to uh, accept their invitation in good faith as well you know not like just abusing what they're offering so we basically ordered something like normal um, nothing fancy nothing extra just the normal stuff that we order from them and uh, the food part got waved off. Ah, feels good. <laughs> well, I'm getting hungry. I-9900, my goodness, that's powerful. Yeah, shouldn't have any problems there. That's weird. Because me, I only have a Ryzen 3 3700. I'll show you my stats here. So yeah, I'm on a... Locked 60 FPS here aside from the stutters, which you can clearly see on that frame time graph. Mm, but yeah, it's pretty locked to 60. And if you look at the GPU on the first row or left, you'll see that it were, I'm only utilizing 63% of my GPU. This is quite, quite chilling in there. So lots of headroom. I might be able to push it to 120. But yeah, it's the CPU that often bottlenecks me. <laughs> and yes, the, the, the memory usage, the VRAM usage is 9.8. That's probably from some memory leak. But yeah, should be okay. But yeah, that's, that's my favorite picture. When you get that flat frame time. Bro. As stable as possible. Bro. <laughs> Ah, yeah, you're in 4K, I see. Yeah, with 4K, that can get tricky. That's true. When I go to triple monitors, so 1440 times 3, that's a bit more than 4K. I think that's around 20% more, but I don't get 60 FPS there at all. Most is around 55. Yeah, it's so probably related. But 60, you should be able to achieve. What kind of tweaks do you have? Like graphics settings, NVIDIA profile inspector tweaks, maybe your scaling is too high. 4K at 400% I guess would be a huge um, 
thing it might not give you additional image quality anyway ain't a homer simpson <laughs> hey panda how are you man hey how are things there hope you guys are staying safe keeping home and stuff i think i heard things are getting a bit hectic Stay safe, bro. <clears throat> Did you press enter too quickly? <laughs> it looks like it. I'm excited to leave France. Get on different landscapes. I think we've been driving in France for quite some time already it's the gateway to Iberia and before Iberia released we were spending a lot of time here so as great as the landscape looks I have no complaints at all at how this looks I just want a different road network <laughs> oh yeah should have figured yeah clumpy it's getting worse oh goodness yeah stay home man hoping for the best Yeah, I was telling the guys, even Singapore is, in, in Singapore in general, is very open to the traveling because a lot of the industries rely on the travel, right? Understandably, we are a regional hub here. So we try and not do a kind of, uh, we try not to prevent any travelers from passing through or entering. But the, last night, they had to make a decision to prevent in the meantime people coming from India people who had recent travel from India they had to stop from coming in even those long time long term workers like example for me even if I had a long term pass here in Singapore if I went to India I wouldn't be allowed to go back with that restriction in place so it's, it's really serious their, this uh, measure that they're putting in so keep safe guys hang tight there best we can do is yes indeed stay home and uh, go on more trucking keep each other company and focus on the good vibes We'll get through this. That was a stutter. <laughs> Ooh, what is that? Interesting. Must have some history in there. This is when Bush Talk Radio would come into play. Or maybe Alex Talk Radio would be perfect. <laughs> I remember Alex beating the heck out of the lady. That didn't sound so good. Um, beating the lady in the competition. Nah, that still doesn't sound good. You get what I mean. <laughs> Time for an Iveco. No. <laughs> no, but I have nothing against Iveco. As long as a decent mod comes out with it, with nice interior textures, great sounds, and okay config options, more than happy to try it out. That is a good point. I might have turned it down. I do like some rain. Oh yeah, might be. <laughs> Should we make it like that? Yeah, good catch. Yes, exactly. That's why it turned it down because of ML. Good catch, man. He brings us sunshine. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it would be really great drive safely. I think
think it's mainly due to the well the overall engine of the game I think is quite prehistoric right they've done some updates since but the core of it has, was made way back and things are much simpler to develop in single thread multi-threading is such a complex thing to do especially in games and when you have a limited budget back then especially for SES when they were a small company they probably couldn't afford to spend a lot of resources on multi-threading but now that they do have more resources I hope that gets more focus so that I can ba get back to 120 FPS again I've locked myself to 60 FPS because I don't reach 120 anymore because of CPU mainly because of the CPU bottleneck the GPU is willing but the CPU is unable so the GPU just sits there and waits for instructions what now bro? <laughs> come on keep up my answer no <laughs> oh my goodness uh... Eveco Stralis, actually the Eveco Stralis, the exterior, doesn't look so bad to me. It looks plain, but it doesn't look bad. I can't say the same thing for the Magnum though. <laughs> the Magnum is my most, um, it is, on the, I guess, it, the, the lowest on the list when it comes to visual looks for me. The exterior. The interior of the Stralis, I don't recall how it looks, but I think I don't like it mainly because of the textures. They are really poorly done, very blurry, but not for the look itself. I think it has a pretty standard, okay-ish look. So if a modder makes some high-quality textures for them, high-quality models so they're not edgy, I think I'm fine with the Stralis. So overall, Stralis would be good for me. Yeah, as long as it's not the default one. So the default one is just horrendous in today's standards. If there's a decent truck mod for it, it can work. It shouldn't be direct X limitation anymore, at least not now, but yeah, maybe before. Huh? That could have been true. Hey Panda! Goodness, six months already. Time flies. Thanks man, appreciate it. Stay safe out there, huh? Or in there rather. <laughs> Don't worry, more blames to come to you. But for now, it's all Alex. We were 20 minutes late and uh, I blame everything on Alex. <laughs> Thanks man, GG. Let's see if I missed anything. No, I think I'm good. I, I think I remember, was it Alex AP who released a... I think it was a Stralis mod before, which I tried as well and I liked it. I guess I shouldn't say that out loud, huh? Um, but I liked it because it, it looked like a proper workhorse truck, you know? No fuss, no uh, fancy bells and whistles and whatnot. It was not a show truck at all, but it seemed like a proper workhorse. And um, it really felt like you were a trucker. It even had that kind of phone, like mobile phone holder in there somewhere, which made it seem very realistic, very much like a real trucker kind of feels, vibes. Yeah. I think that kind of works. But yeah, the interior really needs work. The textures are prehistoric. Have a good night, Dwarfy. Happy lurking. Happy weekend. Alex's MP4 mod. Oh, did he have an MP4 mod? Oh, I think that's different. That's not Alex AP. That's uh, Alexi. I think it's two words, right? Like uh, Alex and Alexander Androff, but something like that, I think. Yeah, those had a lot of options. It even had a rigid option, if I remember correctly. 
bro. It actually overtook me. series you guys are watching I started watching the series once I was previously watching New Amsterdam it's hospital drama that had very nice storyline and I finished it and I found this interesting very interesting concept are you guys familiar with Black Mirror the Black Mirror ser series I think it gathered a lot of um, attention when it came out because it has some of those very eerie concepts basically it shows you like the ugly future uh, ugly possibilities of the future like when technology gets applied when you expand on what technology can do to the future and how it can change our lives it kind of theorizes on those possibilities and it shows you how freaky it can be when it remains unchecked so I think Black Mirror became a very famous series because of that because it's not it's like kind of sci-fi but it's sci-fi that's believable that you can think yeah that can really happen in a couple of years so black mirror has been very uh viral because of that i found something that's like black mirror but it's like one story because black mirror has multiple episodes but each episode is a different story altogether different characters different concepts so they're not connected at all or most of them are not but I found one which is like an entire series but only one storyline so it's continuous same characters you get to grow with them you get to see their ugly side and whatnot oh crap speaking of ugly side um, but it's kind of black mirror levels in a way because the overall and it's called the one and I know it sounds like super cheesy when I first saw the title I was like ah, no. like no but then I was out of options so I just okay let's see if this works the one find the one find your one true love like how cheesy can you be but uh, it actually is very good because the overall concept is think about this are you familiar with those like DNA sampling I meaning Mrs. Clumsy we actually just uh, availed of such a thing so you get to be more familiar with your risks your uh, like what kind of food is best for your body you know so you can analyze your body better those DNA checks are existing nowadays this storyline this concept takes that one level higher oh that's one of the Ernox trailers for sure even has the dirt in there um, because here it uses your DNA to basically find your one true love, your match, you know? Because I think I think the concept is the they notice that with ants, the ants find their mates using some kind of chemical combinations. And they were able to analyze the pattern for ants and find that a similar pattern exists for humans. So basically you give them your hair, they get your DNA. They build this DNA database of all the people in the world and they would find your perfect match based on your DNA uh, combination and it sounds like a very like I wouldn't be surprised if that really happened X years from now it sounds very believable but the implications of what that does what that make what that can do to relationships to dating even to marriage all the effects and the ugliness and the risks that can make it shows in that it, it's showcased in that show and it's just like oh my goodness yeah you would think it's just cheesy but the disasters and the implications of that kind of technology coming into play it just destroys all the traditional things that we've uh, been been accustomed to like everyone thought when tinder came out 
right, these kinds of dating apps that it would destroy the existing dating scene, right? Or finding finding people. This one takes it ten notches higher. <laughs> Oh my goodness, but it's a very interesting concept and the storyline is very well done. The storytelling is great. It's, uh, it's quite nice. I think I'm going to finish it. It's only eight episodes there, so it's like a mini-series. Quite good. <coughs> News about EVR. Hmm, I haven't. About people. I think he's the last, the last one he made the teaser. Was that for an MP3 he was working on? I think that was a couple of weeks ago, if I remember correctly. Yeah, Alexei Androv, I think, or something. Renault Premium. Oh, Renault Premium. Yeah, only Iberia. Only Iberia. It works perfectly with the other toll gates. <laughs> DNA mate match. Yeah, it's so freaky. It's so freaky. Like, some people... Like there is an example there, I won't go too much in details to avoid the spoiler, but there you can imagine like people are married already, and then if one has an insecurity, they would think, well, what if he finds his match, and what would happen to us? Like we're not we're not really the match, but we're married. You know, something like that, something along those lines, and that introduces so many layers of complexity. so interesting how that story came up and I, I was looking through the credits and I think it came from a novel which makes sense most of the series that I really like I found have started from a book it started from a novel which was made into a TV series that's why the writing is so well done the storyline is so polished because the it was well thought of I really like those kinds of um, novel turned TV series kind of things Welcome back, though. No matches for you. <laughs> it's one bad idea. Yeah. But I wouldn't be surprised if it became a thing. Wouldn't be surprised. But yeah, technology can be scary, huh? So, yeah, that's why I say it's kind of like Black Mirror, for those who are familiar with Black Mirror. That's the, the similar concepts that it tries to do. There was an episode in Black Mirror where it tried to like, um, how do you say, um, it, something along the lines of immortality. You can kind of upload yourself to a server so that even if your body perishes, you're still alive in a way. Something along those lines. So like, oh, freaky. But then again, once we get those like massive databases right that can upload entire entire contents of a brain what's stopping people from doing that yeah. Yeah. technology is scary sometimes <laughs> at least not on a floppy drive if it could fit in a floppy drive, then uh, yeah, I feel for you. <laughs> Let people discover misery on their own. Yeah, it's part of the challenge, right? Part of life. Uh, but going on a more serious note, like that, the one concept, finding your one, your match, I don't really believe in it. I think maybe there is some truth to it, like your chromosomes matching or whatever but I mean we're humans are much more complex than that and I'm getting on the mushy side here so you'll have to mute <laughs> you've been warned but yeah I think it's more about um, not finding the one but making your one you know like for me and Mrs. Clumsy yeah Mrs. Clumsy should hear this but yeah I think it's more about what you make of things of your relationship it's not really finding that person it's the beauty of it and to 
to spare you from the <laughs> the more mushy details I'll end it there I'll leave you pondering on that config file size <laughs> notepad yeah I think it could fit in a single text file that auto reformats itself ah there we go Belgium this is clumsy watches the stream is confirmed <laughs> yeah I need some plus points so I can get that direct drive wheel <laughs> build up the points I'll need more of them is that the rumble strip sound? oh that one oh that's quite nice was that changed recently? I'm not sure anymore if that's is that from sound fixes or from Z mode? it sounds nice that's different from the usual one I'm accustomed to. It's not screaming at you so much, but you really hear it. <sighs> Slow down. Are we on old roads? Why oh, is that so bendy? So sharp? I think we are. Keep going. <laughs> Please, no. <laughs> <laughs> even I, even for me, it's too mushy already. Have you guys seen the what was that mod? Europe reskin mod. I remember I tried that before. It's from Murphy. He's I think he's part of Pro Mods team, right? Is he the guy who made Ro Romania in Pro Mods? Can't I remember exactly, but he's part of Pro Mods. Europe reskin. I think it's been made compatible for Iberia basically covers the ugliness of the old textures in the old map by replacing them with textures from the newer maps so it kind of reuses DLC textures on the old areas so it makes it more compatible and more seamless experience but I, I wanted to try it especially now that we're going to pass through some old areas I think but I think there were still some bugs, like texture not found issues the last time I checked the forums. So I might hold off a bit on that. Uh, as, uh, as much as I don't like going through old areas with obviously outdated textures, I don't like more seeing red textures with texture not found warnings. It's from Sound Fixes. Cool. I like that update. I like that much better, I think, than the old one. Very natural sounding. Oh, I like that engine sound. What was that show's name again? The one. It's from the UK. And the, the storytelling is great because it's not only that concept that is interesting, it's all the, also the characters, like the CEO, the founders, what they had to go through, what they had to hide, what they had to, uh, how do you say, skirt through the legal means of doing things just to make that project a success. That kind of gets uncovered as the story progresses. So we get like, what really happened? What, what, what are they hiding? You know, these kinds of layers on top of layers of complexity. Very nice. Nowadays, I prefer those kinds of things. Yeah, as much as I hate to admit it. Well, I guess it's not really new, right? I mean, my favorite is GG. But yeah, I've... Oh, I've Bro. <laughs> through the years, I think I've moved to that level of instead of liking the like action scenes more, most of the time, the action scenes, I just, like, I don't really skip through them, but they kind of just accept them for what they are, and I wait for the result. 
but it's more the the scheming, the dialogue, the conversations, the facial re, uh, facial reactions, um, and the the story as a whole is what I really get interested in. So not many more a kind of action kind of guy, or a drama kind of guy at the end of it. GG for the win. <laughs> the counterpart. Oh, what is that? What's that about? I haven't seen that before. MP3 Black Edition. Yeah, this is the MP3 by Dotec and the, what do you call it? Black Liner. Yeah, Black Liner variant. It's nice that it's actually listed there in the dashboard too. It's chromey too, huh? Nice. Nice texture on that one. There's also a white liner variant. Which is basically the same, except it's white. <laughs> but it's true, yeah. It's, but yeah, I like the textures, especially the interior. I think this interior of the black liner is much better than the base one. Ooh, interesting. Okay, okay. Counterpart. Is that a series or a movie? I'll have to look at that. Can you, can you post it in Discord when you get the time? Uh, for reference. Thanks. I have seen Dark, but I have not watched it because I was thinking, is that like horror or scary? It, it seemed intriguing, but uh, my scaredy catness <laughs> prevailed over my curiosity. <laughs> I did. I did remove the yay sound to make way for the bro. Because the, 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 the yay sound, as cool as it is, it not only surprises me, but I imagine it also surprises the viewers. <laughs> so, it's like a double-edged sword. Everyone gets hurt when that audio is played. What's the story of Dark? Maybe I should add that to my list. Yeah, I'm only protecting you guys. It's all for you. Of course. It's a twisted story. Ah, I can. I, I think I can handle that if it's a thriller. Yeah, thriller I'm okay with. It's the horror that I don't like. So I, actually, I think when Jack was playing Alien Isolation yesterday, I was lurking, and I could uh, survive most of it. I think. We have plenty of fuel, but I do need to sleep. Welcome back, Saya. How did it go? You're not a fan of horror, Rohan, but how come you like Mexican hordes then? Aren't those horrors? Aren't those horrors? <laughs> did I nail it? <laughs> oh, you fell into that one. Where in the map are we? Good question. Uh, somewhere in Belgium. Oh, crossing over to Germany soon. Nice. Long way to go though. Long way to go. <laughs> nice sounds. Watching a notepad to jot down certain things. Oh, I like that. Those are the types of uh, shows that I like. The ones where you have to rewind and analyze more. I like that. Sounds good to me. I especially like shows with the scheming. Like the, the plans, the master plans, the twists. And that's why I really like the the Peaky Blinders series. Really waiting for the next season there. Well, and Peaky Blinders, speaking of Peaky Blinders, was sad news. Uh, one of the main characters in the story passed away in real life. The actress passed away. Sad. 
who's a very powerful character in that series. The show won't be the same, I don't think. Yeah, I thought Dark was hotter as well, that's why I was avoiding it. Yeah, <laughs> same here. <laughs> Maybe hotter is relative to Maybe for us that's hotter already. Well, if I get scared, at least I know who to blame. Hello, Germany. I'm always amazed by the flags of Belgium and Germany. Oh, they're not really one is the one. Because I thought when you, like, rotate 90 degrees the flag, it would be the other one already. But apparently the sequence is not the same. It's quite interesting. Why do we have blocked off signs there? Oh crap, 80. Back in the 80 zone. Trying to read the thing. When two children go missing in a small German town, sinful past that is, is exposed, along with the double lives and fractured relationships that exist among four families as they search for the kids. Ah, I see. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Looks like exactly what I'm looking for. Nice. I'll have a look, thanks. Is that set in modern day or somewhere in the past, maybe? <clears throat> Jurassic World. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's horror. that can be horror enough. Yeah, horror is relative indeed, that's true. That proves it. In our case, Mexican horn is hotter enough. <laughs> Something that you hope you never hear again. I should go here. No. 2019. Oh, cool. Even better. I have a bit of reservation with the older eras. Although doesn't that doesn't really that hasn't really prevented me from watching the older eras if the story is good, but I just tend to be a bit more open minded when it's a bit more modern setting. Spoiler alert, where? Cucaracha. Isn't that a song? I think I remember a song with that word. <laughs> oh crap, almost missed my turn. Sunrise again. Wow, goodness. It's 11 already. Oh my goodness, that <laughs> time flew so fast. Ah, okay, let's look for the next uh, gas station and stop there. We'll continue somewhere. I'll probably do this mod spotlight video with this uh, continuation of the trip. We'll see. Mexican horn sound alert. Oh yeah. SA. I, I want the SA comes there. Uh, it's included in that. Uh, Sound audible alert. <laughs> Maybe not. Make it 10,000 points though. <laughs> Make it 10,000 points and I'm good. I like shared it with you. Oh, traitor. <laughs> oh, I thought he didn't want to hear it anymore. I 
Why is it 60 here? That's weird. Feels wrong. 20 minutes more. <laughs> Plausible deniability. 80 again, there we go. Weird. What shall we replace though? I think I'll replace the few moments later with that. Perfect way to end the stream with a little bit of sunrise. <laughs> What's Mexican horror? Is this Frankfurt? Not sure. But that TV tower looks amazing against that backdrop. Let's take a photo before we end the stream. Bro. <laughs> I really like that bro version. It's like purposely insulting bro. Do we not have a stutter audible alert? I guess we don't need an audio alert for it anymore. Huh? We can see it with our eyes already. I think that's the Hela. How do you pronounce that? Rally? Rally. <laughs> Sounds weird to draw live, but I don't know. Rally 3000. Rally with an E at the end. Oh, it's different. RPIA Volvo. So it, the RPIA Volvo comes with some of accessories, some other accessories on its own. Nice. This one I'm using is different. Bit bigger. I just realized this Mercedes is home. Back in Germany now. Man, that wide mirror is so useful, isn't it? Look at that blind spot. Had no visibility of that car a while ago, a few seconds ago. Except on that white angled one. Volvo mod for the lights. Yeah, I still haven't had the chance to try out the RPI Evil recently. <clears throat> what was that? Helicopter on a pedestal. That looks like my kind of landing. <laughs> Land anywhere. Ooh, interesting. Must be a sign seeing all these helicopters, huh? <clears throat> Where the heck is the... How come no more rest areas? Mostly only using the lights. That good, huh? Good find. Are the lights part of the truck mod itself, or are they a different file at least? Hmm. Nice accessories. Ah, I see something. What's an Autohof? 
Doesn't look like a rest area to me. Yeah, I think more of a highway. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> that might be me where I parked it last. Same file, I see. I'll have to check it out. That's the one where you have to register, right? Or do you not have to register anymore? I think I registered at this height way back during the first release of that Volvo. I don't think you have to register anymore. Ah, he's changed it, I see. Yeah, I think there were a couple of people who were put off with uh, that need for registration. It's great. Only if you want to view profiles. Or po oh, is that a full-blown forums now? I remember back then it was just like a single-page website. Which had that, is that still his logo? The one with like the mechanic? The like cartoonish mechanic um, guy? <laughs> Best description ever. That's what I remember of his site. RPIE. This guy box doesn't look bad. I mean if you zoom enough, yeah you'll see the pixels. From this far, not bad at all. That's him. He he remodels homes in real life. Ah, now it makes sense. Now it makes sense why that's his logo. Cool. Interesting stuff. My goodness, I'm here. I think we have to plot it out. Um, well, we can exit in Osnabrück. Maybe yes. Okay, let's go and stop there. Would be okay-ish. <laughs> We'll continue this trip in a different video guys. I hope I get to finish it. <laughs> Not really sure. I did see at one point, that was interesting, a 5,000 kilometer trip, all land from, was it Honigsvag? North, north of Norway, all the way to the southwest right before um, the border of um, Portugal 5,000 kilometers maybe we'll go on that trip sometime 1.40 night yeah, it's nice now right? I just I enjoy the nights I just get that FOMO feeling like yeah the nights are good but are the days better -er? I always have that like, oh, what am I missing? Because I can't see. And then I end up sleeping and uh, <laughs> driving in the day again. But for a few minutes, yes, I drive at night at two. Four series sounds. Oh my goodness. 164 or 144? Are you a big fan of the cooing sound in the 144? Or the machine gun idol in the 164? Both have their interests, their peaks. Why did that get blocked? And for D95. Thanks, Rohan. Oops, stutter to end the stream. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's true. If you know already what there is. And what's there, then driving at night shouldn't be a problem. 164 machine gun sounds. Oh, I love that. There you go, guys. Thank you for driving with me, hanging out with me, and enjoying Dotex MP3. My goodness, I'm loving this truck. And it looks so sleek, even with all the customization options. Doesn't look too like overly flashy. Still sleek. Appreciate it, the company. Boat trailer served me well, yes, for a change. 
Thanks for hanging out, guys. Thanks for the recommendation. Sorry for the lateness. Catch you guys on Discord. Clumsy Trucking. Have a good one. Happy weekend. Thanks for moderating as always, Alex and Rohan. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Catch you on Discord. If you're not there yet, exclamation point Discord. And mods this link in the video description on YouTube. Exclamation point mods on Twitch. <laughs> and I also added the mods list now in the info panel. In case you're shy in putting exclamation point mods in the chat, you can get the mods list in the info panel, the about panel in Twitch. You'll see it there. Thanks, Alex. <laughs> Appreciate that, guys. Thanks and bye-bye. I'm still trucking. See you soon. Mexican horn soon. Maybe. Thank you.